All right, Brave Nation, get ready for an absolute war. This, three five-minute rounds in the middleweight division. Introducing your first warrior. Fighting out of the blue corner, fans of mixed martial artists with a professional record of eight wins and six losses. He stands 177 centimeters tall and weighs already 84.5 kilograms. Representing CIT Pretoria and fighting out of Johannesburg, South Africa. Give it up for Jeremy Pitbull Smith. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man's a big martial artist with a professional record of four wins and one loss. He stands 180 centimeters tall and weighs already 84.35 kilograms. Representing Junkyard MMA Johannesburg and fighting out of Durban, South Africa. Give it up for his long delay, Snake Bone. Oh! Your referee is Decky Larkin. Phil, there's only three things you can count on in life, death taxes and this fight not going the distance. You better not have put the commentator's curse on this, Carrick. Here we go. There is a serious atmosphere. Snake Bone's got the reach advantage. Opening up with the leg kicks. Looks very loose. But all Jeremy Smith needs is almost Tyson-esque with that head movement. I was expecting a big hook or overhand. Front kick to the chops from Swandile. Low kick there, Jeremy Smith just how tough is Jeremy Shakes Smith? Shakes it off. Took a shot to the groin. Didn't want to take a break. Coming out swinging. The atmosphere in the Sabayo Casino right now is absolutely electric. Phil, we've seen fighters take a shot to the groin and it takes away from them. All this did was fire Pitbull up. Look at those leg kicks, they're thunderous. There's only so many that Zwandile can take of those. Jeremy Smith gets caught coming in. Zwandile switching stances. Huge leg kick from Zwandile. Venomous leg kicks from Snakebone. Snakebone doing a tremendous job of using his reach advantage. He's popping in and out with the shots and he's kicking from the outside where it's very difficult to counter. Very, very intelligent game. It's very intelligent work. Chew up the lead leg of somebody who's as heavy handed as Jeremy Smith, but those leg kicks are adding up. Phil, if you can't sit down on that lead leg, of course, you can't throw a huge shot. And if you chew that leg up enough, you can't sit down on that lead foot, and therefore, you can't throw a big shot. It's a very intelligent game plan from Zwandile. He looks like he's getting a little bit looser in there. Being buoyed by the reaction of the Durban crowd here. Feeding off their energy. Jeremy giving in, getting both, as he always does. Then an elbow attempt from the viral sensation. Could you imagine if he scored another viral spinning elbow knockout? That was close enough, Phil. I think he's going to try it at least one more time tonight. Jeremy Smith now trying to eat up the legs a little bit. This sport is all about information. I, I can guarantee you he downloaded some information having tried and failed at that elbow attempt. He may throw the second one a little bit lower. Beautiful lead leaping hook from Jeremy Smith. Knocks Van Dele back a little bit. He's almost got the, the poise of a Dan Henderson right now. 
just marauding forward like the warrior he is, trying to land that big shot. Nice body shot from Pitbull. Nice body shot again from Pitbull. Lands a clean uppercut. Jumping knee. Oh! oh! Jeremy Smith just ate a hell of a knee. Not even fazed by it. That knee may have caused some damage. Trying the hook kick. Just a little bit too close for it to be effective. Snakebone, very intelligently. Oh, there's the body shot in on the double. Can he complete it? Denied, went right back to looking for that liver shot. Jeremy Smith landing knees to try and soften up Maswan Delay. Jeremy Flip. Smith, very smart, trying a different game right now, trying to see how his dirty boxing does. Had a little bit of trouble with his opponent's length. Once you're both in a phone booth, you're the same height. Trying to work inside the clinch. Nice knees on the inside from Jeremy Pitbull Smith. Just wipes the blood away, ready to go, resets. Both men exchanging heavy, heavy kicks. Jeremy Smith just trying to find that angle, but Swantile walking him down again, tries that spin, one. and it comes out of nowhere. And again, he's done it twice. He's downloading information on how his opponent responds. Third one could be a charm. Oh! He turned it around! And Losing. the round ended, Phil! The round stopped. Beautiful work. What a that way to finish the run. Everything we hoped for. Oh, this is beautiful. This is South African MMA. This is Brave Combat Federation 31. What an exchange to finish off the round. But that's just how dangerous Jeremy Smith is. At any moment, he can pull out that one punch knockout power. That is Pitbull Smith. You just saw him. Take damage, take damage, take damage, and then deliver damage. I think that was just enough to, to take the respect of Swan Dile. And just remind him that he's in a fight right now, that he can't, because he dropped the hands a little bit, looked a little bit disdainful, and Jeremy thought, nah, I'm not having any of that. Phil, this is very much a fight that either man can win. I'm looking at Jeremy Smith's cheekbone. He may have taken more damage than I initially thought from that knee. But what a veteran who just at the at the knee with no tell on it at all. He came forward. Big respect. They're taking the full measure of each other. Both incredibly high-level mixed martial artists. That's one delay trying to establish range with that job. Swandile needs to be wary of train tracking backwards in a straight line. Because what Jeremy Smith seems to be doing is charging forward. Jeremy trying to land that big looping overhand. I'm loving Jeremy's resolve. He throws a kick so hard he spins clear around. Snake phone wisely using that reach advantage. It seems that Jeremy's trying to spin him back fist from Jeremy Smith. Beautiful. It's almost like Jeremy's trying to time the kicks of Swan Delay and land a big overhand. Predicator off the oh! kick. Spin and elbow landed. Third one landed. What is Jeremy Smith made of? Pitbull can be dropped. Again, spinning attack from Swan Dile, met with an overhand from Jeremy. Swan Dile clearly wants to establish anything you can do, I can do too. Not going to let any spinning thing go unanswered. Head kick. 
Yes, Jeremy's taking these on the arms, but a kick like that. Shen kick. on the arms. Oh, he dropped him! He dropped him! Jeremy it's swarming! Swantile pop right back up. This is beautiful work from both men. A little wry smile on the face from Swantile. Again, Jeremy Smith with the bit between his teeth now. Fight of the night, baby. This is the fight of the night so far. Predatorial pit bull right now. That's the kind of power Jeremy Smith can generate. Jeremy Smith, happiest man on the planet right now. This is what he was born to do. Yeah, Jeremy Smith was born in the wrong era. This is the kind of guy who thrives. He would have thrived in the Coliseum. It's the kind of guy that would ride a, a long ship by sea into your town and take everything. Heavy leg kick again. One of the things about a big headshot, it robs you at least temporarily of your conditioning. Snake bone snowing, uh, slowing down just a little bit. Arms are feeling heavy, legs are feeling heavy. It'll pass. Another spinning attempt. Jeremy just shy with the, the spin and back kick. But all oh, landing, big clubbing over hands. I like what Jeremy's doing now. He's finishing those, finishing those salvos with the hands with a heavy leg kick. Beautiful example of Dutch kickboxing, predominant style of striking in MMA. You throw a ferocious combination, finish it with a big kick. Oh, rip into the body, but Swandile with the knee. Pitbull, I believe, feels his opponent is tiring a little bit and believes if he attacks that body, Great. he'll tire him even more. Great work on the body, but he's leaving himself susceptible to a knee. As Swandile could get timing on that as Jeremy Smith marauds in. Oh, he caught him, oh, with, a spinning caught him elbow. with a spinning elbow again. Jeremy Smith on shaky legs. What a warrior he is. This is a fire fight. Stick your keys in a bowl because we are going swinging. Fight of the night, baby. Fight of the year right here. Jeremy Smith might just be one of the toughest human beings. Warriors in front of us. Snake bone stalking. Smiling. This is a crazy fight. Both men have been dropped. Both men have absorbed serious punishment. Unbelievable round, round of fighting. Two. Big smile from both fighters. Big respect. That fight was bananas. And we have another round. This is crazy. We know what's going to happen in the third and final round, Phil. Both fighters are going to go for it even more. No one wants to pull a decision out of this one. Both fighters' corners have a lot of work to do here. Big punishment has been taken on both sides. Both men taking deep breaths. And at this stage, when both men have absorbed punishment to this degree, it really comes down to, to, to their heart, to their endeavor. And both these men have it in buckets. We're looking at two hearts as deep as the ocean. Jeremy Smith trying to walk off the fatigue. Jeremy Smith, Phil, having the time of his life in here. Big grin on his face. Just casually, casually having a chat. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Now let's get back respect. at it. Snake phone on the outside. Smith trying to find a setup so he can dart forward, land that huge shot. Stiff leg kick again from Jeremy Smith. Snake phone clearly much more comfortable on the far outside. Backs up fast Swan when Dele. Pitbull uses that explosive forward movement. Swan Dele momentarily, shades of Conor McGregor, hands behind the back. Oh, 
Like we say, either man just needs that little gap, that little opportunity. Referee taking a little break. We're going to find out why shortly. I believe we've got a, perhaps we may have a corner standing. Corners have to remain in a chair. That may be the issue. There may be one extra corner. The official's going to get this sorted out very quickly, but the rules are strict. Deggy Larkin takes no mess in at all. And we're back at it. Pitbull looking to attack that body still. If he can get those hands a little lower, those big headshots may land again. Just trying to find that home run right hand. Svandile just shy with a head kick. Needs to be wary of the hands being down like that. Nice front leg side kick. Kick may have been a little low, but I think either way, Jeremy liked it. This one delay not quite finding the range with his kicks. A little bit of theatrics. Dele looks like ever so slightly the fresher fighter, but you can never count somebody like Jeremy Smith out. I believe, Phil, that that knee to the cheekbone that caused the blood in the nose may be what's slowing Jeremy down to a slight, slight degree. Dele trying to turn it up. The shot's coming a little bit slower from Jeremy. Big deep breath from the pit bull. Eats another knee. Blow may have been low, we didn't see it. Referee has momentarily stopped the bout. Fighter who received the low blow has up to five minutes and I to think, recover. I think right now it would be advantageous of Jeremy Smith to take as much time as he can just it to control be, the breathing. But he won't. He wants to get back in this fight absolutely as soon as he can. As we say, has the full five minutes just to just to gather himself now. The timekeeper always has two clocks at ringside. He's got the second one going right now. Little warning from the referee. Pitbull's going to wait for the pain to pass. When it does, we're going to get back to the third and final round of this extraordinary fight. It's on. One delay just controlling the distance right now. Using that lead hand just to paw and maintain. I'll see if this is between himself and Jeremy Smith. Snake bone fighting very intelligently. Not mixing it up, but trying to pot shot from the outside. Yeah, Jeremy Smith's not the kind of guy you want to stand and trade with. Just under two minutes to go in the third and final round. What does Jeremy Smith have in the tank? Can Swan Dile pull out another highlight reel finish? Beautiful leg kick again. Big shots. I think Jeremy may have hurt his foot there. See a lot of reddening and it's swollen instantly. But a guy like Jeremy Smith is just going to keep going. An injury to Jeremy Smith just means he's a little more fired up. Just under a minute to go in what has been a fantastic showcase of South African mixed martial arts. Jeremy leading the dance right now. Jeremy Smith putting on a fantastic show of the depth of the human heart. 
snake bone, strategically brilliant. Can Jeremy Smith takes one delay to a decision for the first time in his mixed martial arts career? 20 seconds to go. I think Jeremy Smith might have done some damage to his right arm. He keeps shaking it out. He's probably got damaged his whole entire body. Phil, it does look like I was wrong about this fight ending. Oh, head kick! A kick to the body! This is a beautiful fight! This is how it should end. Whoa! Wow! What a fight! Phil, I've never been happier to be wrong because I loved every single second of that fight. Both of these men are absolute warriors. Brotherhood in the brave cage. Thank you, Zwandile Longa. Thank you, Jeremy Pitbull Smith. Thank you, Brave Combat Federation. What a fight. Medical personnel are now attending to both fighters. Most of the attention going to Jeremy Smith, possible injured arm, possible injured foot, possible injured cheekbone, possible injured nose. That's how he fights. He would not have it any other way. This man is a beast. He was born to fight. He is fully in his element. People talk about being a warrior. That is a warrior in MMA. Snake bone getting dried off. Looking calm, cool, and collected. Starting to focus on hearing the judge's decision. Snake Bone's corner appear very confident. Snake Bone appears very confident. This is MMA. You can't leave it up to the judges, but that's what happened. Anything could happen. But we do see a very confident fighter in the Brave Cage. As we're waiting for the judges' decision, quick shout out to Scuffle Media, Sibaya, Sun Casino, and Sun International. Deeply appreciated sponsors. Ladies and gentlemen, if there's ever been a better fight in our life to show the heart of a South African warrior, this was it! Let's give a round of applause for both gladiators in the cage tonight. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. Your first judge scores about 29-28. Your next judge scores about 30-27. And your last judge scores about 29-28 for your winner. Out of the red corner, Swandile Snakebone Halongwong!